The whole high tune is very important. You know, I dream about the almighty mountain again, with snow on, and the sun hit the mountain, and the big valley below, and then a front hill, right a hill in front with maybe some old, old trees. And I will do all that with the knife again. Let's fire in. It's red in your mind, there's no problem. So first we always take a look how I put that blue on. <clears throat> I will I will have a little bit of alizarin crimson in that blue, kind of a color like this, you see. When you when you do it here, it's hard to see the right color. But then I taste it here. I that's perfect. Actually the, between, <clears throat> you know, a little crimson and blue, it's, it's a wonderful, can be a beautiful winter color, but can be a, a, a night color, a moonlight color. And add a touch of black into that, and you got some, oh, some beautiful moonlight colors. <clears throat> See, this, this color, I think, I will just, and dance it in, dance it in, the way you think. Uh, See, in this case, I would like to show a little bit of white and... You make it move, make it, make it, uh, the, 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 sometimes you use the corner, the corner of the brush, what gives you all the, all the excitement. See there. And the, the magic white, is the magic white is on. I told you, the magic white is always on. <clears throat> I always put the magic white on. I don't want to put it on, I don't want to waste any time. They give me 28 minutes here. Shame on them. <clears throat> So therefore, I always put it on before, but Denk always, I need that white in order to mix. See, the technique, my technique can, we have to have that. See, you now I have a kind of a bumpy little sky. <clears throat> good, good, good. So we won't worry too much. Now I clean my brush. Clean my almighty brush. And always keep your tune for high up. <clears throat> if you had a fight with your wife before, Forget it. <clears throat> Just make up with her, and then you are happy again, and you can fire in like hell. <clears throat> See, when I hypnotize, I always start off from the light into the dark. There you are. Look, it's kind of a nice, nice moving sky. Kind of a ah, uh, just the sky I wanted. Good. It's not so blah, it's not so hard and so even. <clears throat> now I use my almighty knife and I will create again white. See, I take that white up from here, see, put it up there. It's quite a hard, solid, thick white. Otherwise, it would not do it. Push a little bit black into that, uh, blue into that, and a little crimson into that. This kind of, a, those three colors, they give you a steel uh, iron feeling, uh, stone feeling. If you want it more in the gray, you put more black, and if you want it more in the blue, you put more blue, and more in the red, more red, and or more a little crimson, but you get the colors. Look at that, see? I take it all off again, push it over, and leave it like marble. <coughs> this is what makes the, that mountain there. Depends on the distance. I think this is the distance I'd like to find here. So start off with this. <clears throat> Maybe here, in this case, I will have a long slope there. I will have a steep drop down. I will have a happy little valley down there. And I will have that land coming up powerful. So start off from here. See the way you space it. Now, see, in that, against that dark, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I need a bit more black, a bit more blue, a bit more alizarin crimson need a bit more dark, then it will be show up a bit better, see? I just try it. If you try it and you don't like it, don't go on. Because when you go on, then it's too late, and you have wrong, it's wrong, and it stays wrong. See, in this case, I still can take it off. See? And I fire in again. Yeah, that's a different, different feeling. Can have a peak mountain, can have two peaks there, can have here a little bit, can have other one coming up there. Depends on what you have in your mind.
See, hold the knife as flat as possible. Hold that knife as flat as possible. And we'll have the light coming from this side in this case. Let's come from this side there. And then I put the dark on this side more. See, that's a happy little slope. Thank you on skis. Boy, how that really works out for you. Look at all the details. Because of that heavy paint, that thick paint you use, you get all those details. If you use a thin paint, you never get it. <coughs> See, now I clean my knife and I will highlight that by using white again here, start a new bunch with sap uh, Indian yellow, touch of uh, tail um, alizarin crimson, see, and create a kind of a nice, <coughs> nice, uh, powerful uh, color there. Oh, that's, that should look good. See, now we have a fire in here. I divide half in my mind half of that painting, see that mountain gets there. It's wonderful the way you can roll it off the hill, you see, watch this stroke there, you see. Another beautiful stroke. You have all the details in between See here, I will divide it again in my mind. Fire off like this. See, there you are. <coughs> now you go on the other side. This side here have the same. And always have that stroke, make that stroke so that it goes down. The waters are running down for thousands and thousands of years, whatever. The rain comes, it always goes down, even here, you see? Down, down. I think that gives you that, gives you that feeling of little creeks, waters, they're all running down and become big rivers and on the bottom they have, you have big rivers then. See now, you can add here a little bit more. See, now I use white, take a look on this, white and a touch of blue and make yourself a happy little blue. Happy little blue. That's just too blue. Then take half of it and push it in the corner here and start from scratch. Because you, as long as you... I need only so little. And if I have to make that, leave that in. I have a pile of blue there and I never use it. You save more paint by doing what I showed you now. <clears throat> and have this side... See, that's a good, good idea. I thin it down a little touch. The thinner paint sticks on the thicker paint, but it just, I thin it down a wee wee little bit on the, see, that gives me a better, see, watch this. And I do it with magic white. See, that blue hits good, hits hard. Yeah. Beautiful. Same here, you have create yourself a bit of a valley there. Blue in the valley there. <coughs> 
the, then if you want to, you can use uh, the big brush, white. See what I do here? And blue, white and a touch of blue. See, something like this color. And then you can, you can, kind of a mist I would like to create there. And only go so far, think about the timber line. They just have that mist here, and then all run clear right into the sky. Here I will have a little bit of mist. See? But that will be covered up. Actually, I shouldn't worry about that at all there. Good. See, now we will use the big brush and make sure you have a clean, dry brush. I use the same mountain paint. You see here? I take the same mountain paint because this is so much, it goes so much lighter, and I will tank on the hill there. See, the, the trees standing up there, can you see the trees? Make this kind of strokes. See, this kind of strokes. Again, see how I take it off? Lots of paint in the brush, lots of paint in the brush. Now here, I cover that up, that, that, that will be all covered up again. I want to have a valley here, Coming down into the valley, maybe maybe what I will do here, I will create, I will create. See, I make a bit of upstrokes. This is, something is standing up there now, because in such a deep, uh, far distance, this uh, you, your imagination will take over, and you will think there are trees standing there, far away. See, now I will I will use uh, sap green. Sap green and black. Sap green and black. Or blue. You can use blue in that too. See, sap green, black, and blue. See, now I create a couple. Uh, uh, I create a valley there. So maybe there. Isn't that a beautiful tree standing up there? Look at that. The way, the way you do it, because that is the way you get the trees so wonderful with the branches flying around, you see? Here, maybe I go a little bit tippy up there. That's beautiful, see? Maybe here a little touch. Look, look at the looseness, look at that. I mean, you can, it's most impossible to do that with a fine little brush. You work your head off. It's not good, see? <coughs> No, I want to have a dark on the bottom here. And the way I do the strokes, look how I take the paint off. The, it has a kind of a curve. The brush has, creates a kind of a curve. Can you see? I always call it the dog paw. See? Now, if I, I, I just use this to show you. See, I will cover that all up with other colorful colors. See, if I make a tree here, watch how the tree comes. Look at that. Now you, whoever argues with me now, I think they are crazy. There is no finer tree, a fir tree you cannot, I cannot see. I just can, I tried all kinds of things. You never, never make a tree nice like that with the fine brush. Whoever wants to argue, come up and tell me that. If you have something nicer to tell me, I will go with you. But I have painted 40 years solid. And the outcome is I still, I can make the same trees as somebody. This is a teaching thing what I do here with this. See, watch. Now I make an open brush. See? Look at that. This brush has already the tree. Can you make a close-up shot on this? This brush has the tree branches in it already. See, now in this case, I would like to make a, 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 a leaf tree. See? 
Look at all the leaves. Can you see the loose? Look at, look at this shot alone, this push alone. There are a lot of branches hanging down. See, in the middle you can fill in a bit more. But isn't it beautiful? You can have needle trees, and then you highlight that from one side, and you put the tree trunk in. This what I do here is just the teaching idea, because sometimes you can't help. My thing on here is to teach, get you excited, get you rich, get you powerful. And this, this is very important to know. <clears throat> so we we'll go on with the trees here. I get so excited sometimes I can't help doing that. And I get so upset when some people come back and they say, I still can make the trees. They still have a little brush and dabble for hours. And it's still a lousy tree. And those trees here, are, oh, God, look at this tree here. Isn't it something? This is where I felt when we talk about God and religion, when I felt God is with me because I felt so powerful. And I thought, God... You are wonderful. You give me all that power to do those wonderful things. <clears throat> See? Look at Look at Now look at that. Wouldn't you say, thank you, Lord, for letting me have all those things? Okay. Now maybe I talked enough about that. Now here I will put the other hill in. See, here on the bottom, maybe I will show a little bit of... First I will put the little uh, tree, uh, tree trunks in there. Put three trunks in there. Put three trunks in there. See? Put the other three trunks in there. And if you want to have trees in the back, see there are some. Make them a bit lighter so they disappear in the distance. See? There you are. Now you highlight that. I will use the other brush. We use other brush. You can use a smaller brush. You can highlight that with a bit of yellow. Put a bit of sunshine in. See, see what I do here, yellow. Maybe a touch of, uh, uh, I use this light blue what I have here to finish it up. And then maybe here, just a touch. Light is coming from here. Isn't that wonderful? Hit it right. Thank you are the sunshine. You make the day. See on one side is a shadow, other side is the sunshine. You can do it with the other tree too. See, not wonderful. Again, again, here. Fire in, fire in. See this, this, here. See here on the bottom, I will just create a kind of a green valley. That's the bottom of the valley here. There's a happy valley there, a bit of trees there, grout there, more white, touch of white here. See, have it as light as possible. See? If you want, you can, you can, you can, you can, whatever you want. There's so much you can do. See how I take my paint off? It's always heavy, strong paint. A nice watch, this little bang, bang, bang. It doesn't come good enough. It didn't come. See what I do now? I go into the magic white. That's a good lesson again. Because it is thicker than the paint underneath now. And it will not give me the figures. What I do now, I went into the magic white and thin that down just a little bit. Now watch what happened now. Now I show you how easy it is again. And it's amazing when you get the philosophy of this technique. Oh, you got it. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Maybe here a little bit of highlights there. I want to have just like you see a little, you would think 
in your mind there's a water runoff here. See, you know, here, 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 this is what I thought. Coming down the hill, coming down the hill. I just use my colors in the brush. I just use it up to mark it on, that's all. See, no, that would be nice. This is the light side. The light is coming from here. So, with other words, what I do now, I will, I will, I will use white. See, with a touch of red. Maybe I use all this paint up here. And you fire in maybe here. Watch. Look at that. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Just the paint breaks on you. It gives you all this, this details you need. See here, what I have kind of a whatever, whatever standing there. I think that's a hill with all kinds of grout up there. See, I will use a lot of alizarin crimson and this color in here. Look at that. Just uh, whatever I have there, I use it all up. And now I will, I will. See, see how I get my mood in there. Maybe here I create a kind of a little, a little, little swing. Come down the hill there. Come down the hill there. See how it breaks? Can you see that heavy paint? It gives you such a beautiful, the beautiful feeling of creating. See here, I use the same colors that I had in the mountain there. This for the shadow side. As long as you paint, as easy it becomes for you to mix colors. You will see a lot of artists, they, they will start, uh, they, before they start, they mix the colors already on the, on, on, on the palette. I never mix them, I grab them. They are all around here. The colors I want, I see, I put them on. And it takes a little bit of time. It, it didn't come the first day. It, it comes to you when the, the knowledge of, of colors, you know, I, I, it's hard to explain that. All of a sudden it's there. I, I can't even fight it. It is there. It's so wonderful to work with those kind of colors. See, here I come down the hill. You must always think this is still the light side here. Sun is coming from this side. See? That's the light side. See, I just, just let the colors run let them run just the way you th you think sometimes it is wonderful to have it like that see, here i would be happy to have kind of a that kind of a see a kind of a really sunshine and let mother nature take care of it i break it i break it down the hill see i just but otherwise i break it down the hill see here the way i grab it and that's so that why you just let them See here, it would be nice to have a little bit of that sunshine there. See? Maybe here we add a little bit of reddish colors. You need sometimes a little bit of powerful movements. Then you add those kind of colors. See, maybe here I will have just, 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 look at that.
Look at that. This powerful, a little crimson, and let it come down the hill, here, 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 here. And walk it down here. See? Then you can use yellow, it becomes a kind of a, see the white yellow and, and a little crimson, and you highlight this, let the highlights uh, mark it. Thank the sun is always you are the leader of light, see? And that's why you get the colors into that whole deal here, here. See? Again, s yellow and a little crimson gets a nice, gives you a nice orangey color. And I just have to bring it up like this. So I want to, want to have it, see? This colors, a lot of colors run down the hill. A lot of colors, maybe here, I'll let them come down. See there, look at the colorful, happy hill here. And they will live happy ever after. They will live happy ever after. See? I applied enough with my colors, and now I feel there's a beautiful, powerful hill in front, maybe here a little bit more red, and that is a happy ending. You enjoyed it? You learned something? I put some extra trees in there. You never see them anymore. Thank you for watching me. Bye-bye.